Hey guys and welcome to Astro Music and Tutorials, where we bring you the necessary information to bring out the lo-fi and chill hop producer in you. Today we're going to be making a chill hop beat with samples from the Eldre Lo-Fi Juice Sample Pack, which is a free sample pack provided by the man himself. Remember to like and subscribe if you like your content and let's start the video. So this is the main sample that I ended up choosing. Let me just straight up tell you what the effects I used are before diving into the sample. I used a crystallizer for some high end delay and an EQ to cut out the unnecessary low end, which this sample has a lot of. Also cut a little bit of the highs just to make some room for other high elements. Now here's the sample pack in all its glory, the Eldre Lo-Fi Juice sample pack. The sample I just talked about is the Sad Pluck sample. It was the same scale as the track I was making, so all I did was adjust the tempo. That's why mine sounds a little slower than the original. Next I made a piano progression to go with that sample and here's what I came up with. Here's a simplified version for the intro. Also a very important tip is to randomize the velocities so that it doesn't sound robotic. You need to humanize the dynamics to make it sound realistic. Now the plugin I use for this is the old reliable Soft Piano by Labs. It's free and sounds absolutely beautiful. So for the main progression, all I used was an EQ to cut the lows. And also reduce the highs a bit more because apparently Soft Piano is just not soft enough for me. Same goes for the intro progression. A low cut and a slight high reduction. Now let's hear the drum progression. It's a fairly straightforward and simple progression. The only thing I did that was unique is pan the hi-hats with an automation. So first off I used an EQ to really cut out the lows. This stock fruity panomatic is what I use to automate the panning. Just right click on this pan knob and select the automate option in the drop down menu. Then just play with the automation till you get it to sound how you want it. Don't be afraid to experiment, you might end up with some pretty good ideas. And now for some bass. Very simple and just follows the bass notes of the piano progression. I used the Eternity bass sample for the sound. It comes with the free Eternity sample pack from Cymatics. For effects, I just have a basic high reduction EQ. It's important not to cut out all the highs so the bass has some high end flavor. And now for the next sample which is a pad. This is the original sample, named Kendrick. I didn't want the entire sample, so thankfully the sample pack comes with a stems folder, which separates each element of the sample. So I was able to get just the pads.
And after a little tempo and scale adjustment, we get this. For effects, I have a stereo enhancer to widen the sound, a crystallizer for some high end delay, and an EQ to clean up the sound. Next, we have this lead pad to layer the previous pad. The sound is isometra, and you can get this sound through a free sampler called Decent Sampler. We've done a tutorial about this plugin, and I'll link it here so you can check it out. And now for the final sample. I made it sound more spacey with the Valhalla Supermassive, a free reverb plugin. And then of course an EQ to cut the unwanted lows. So here's the original sample. Just like with the pad, I didn't want to use the full sample, but the flute had caught my attention. So I went into the stems folder to fish it out. And with some tempo and scale adjustments, we got it sound like this. Lastly is this white noise that I have in the back. Noises like this or rain really adds texture to your tracks and also fills up the mix. But they'll sound very harsh at first, so make sure to EQ and level them to make it fit better. And with that, let's hear the full beat. <laughs> 